Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. Here, in the Nexus, where last time we found there were some uh, logs in our dad's room. So we're going to have a look at them. Your father's personal logs. Right, uh, general logs. Uh, Milky Way departure. I assume it's that way around. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Hmm. No, oh, Dr. Liara? Liara? Okay, Liara to Sony. Sam. This is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. to Sony. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. to Sony's research onto data pads. Why? Like, what is... Like... What is Liara to Sony's... Research gonna have of importance in Andromeda, assuming every assuming that there's no connection. I mean, it's basically like saying, I really want to learn about like I am I'm going to I'm going to okay, what can what who 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 do I know who's a good historian that's on a particular focused subject? Alright, there we go. Alright, okay. Well written, educated historian, Winston Churchill, wrote predominantly about British history. Let's get his research because we're going to China. What? I mean, that's, that's basically what this is saying, is... We're going somewhere where the culture is going to be completely different, where the races are going to be most likely different. So why are we getting a historian from the Milky Way to provide us with research? Unless it's a general kind of... Unless... It's a general kind of this is how we learn things, which I don't think it's going to be. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. It's the same voice actress, but it sounds a little bit stilted at points. I don't know why. It just doesn't sound right. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. That... that's not research. That's not research, Sam. Those are just personal messages. No idea what they're talking about. Final entry. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. You mean the fact that you were basically had an AI in your head? Which is basically illegal, under my understanding of Milky Way law. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. I assume they're all going to say roughly the same thing, aren't they? That log is not currently accessible. Oh. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Right, okay. No point in looking at the other ones. Right. Oh, hello. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Yes. Even at the time of this writing, 
the year 2182, <coughs> their culture remains a mystery. Yes. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Okay, so that's the way they're going with it. That the that is this just gonna go around again? I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades. Oh, there's more of them over here. <gasps> books, 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 books. It is common knowledge. So it's basically going around the idea of your father's first sight on a memento of his early alliance service. So it's more a principle. I bet that saw plenty of action. I'm sorry. Alex's first kill I'm occurred in combat during the first contact war. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. So, the point she seems to be making is it's how to learn from stuff. It's that side of it, rather than the... This is... I could climb up the bookshelves, but that won't get me anywhere. Books! Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders, too. One, well, what's wrong with a printed book? It's probably more survivable than whatever these are. Than whatever the... The data pads are made of, uh, in some senses. And the other thing, the other one that I was going to say, why Lewis and Clark out of everyone? Like out, out of, out of everyone. Like there are so many different people you could have gone to. I'm sure. But they're the famous American ones. Yeah. When studying a dead race. The most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. I'm really confused, because surely it goes to archaeology anyway. Like, archaeology is, is a thing on for humanity, and the last I checked, we weren't extinct. I mean, I might be wrong on that one. It'd be a bit awkward. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Yeah, that doesn't sound weird or anything. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Is this a cutscene or are we going to be playing? Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Yes. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Yes. That one. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. You're mad. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. He was an idiot. <laughs> like, 
Uh. Yeah, oh, it'll give us an advantage. We've got disadvantages now. Like, yeah, do you want to become a pariah? Like, no, a, the humanity just becomes a riot. Mom's life was at stake. None of these are good options. Where's the he was an idiot option? Nah, eh, mom's life at stake. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. For good reason. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. <coughs> uh, doesn't seem sensible at all. Ah, door. Right, let's get this log. Your father's personal logs. Uh, oh, the first one. Oh, it's unlocked. It's got a name. Ellen's Disease. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. I don't like where this is going. Like, did he basically put Ellen into the machine along those lines or something, something, something? I don't know. Right, so let's head back. What was I doing? Oh, we need to go back to have a chat with the... Um, nothing's really progress in the cry there, I don't think. Operations. Because we got the person who was accused of murder, the defendant. And we have to go and investigate him. Because he is still apparently connected with this. I don't like the way this murder mystery is going. Because it's not a murder mystery. It's go to this place and then scan things with light. Hmm. No. Okay, she must be on the... Yeah. Uh. Ah, oh, I need to do this as well. Waiting debrief! Mission funds and things. Debrief. Mission funds and stuff. Apex mission, delay ship launching. Oh, actually, I should look at my team. Oh, is this meant to actually be a team? Team Lima. Uh, tactician, so night time. And you are stealthy. So, silent, silent and deadly, night time. There's silent and deadly. Night, night time. Well, that makes sense. So, oh, is this like a silver one? Right. She's even she's slightly better anyway. I'll give that to Yankee. I think though. This is she. All the Asari. Fifty-five percent. Okay, so no, not yet. I got some research data and a new sniper rifle and some credits and more credits. Oh, they're all credits. Okay, material, shell elements, and. Silicon and copper. Woo. Yeah, new sniper rifle. I'll have to look at that. So whether that's going to be. Uh, 
Hey, you're Liam here? Liam, you're, uh, you're Liam. He made up for everything, twice over. He'd have to. Ryder? Okay, there's nothing else. Okay. I thought Cora was on the way in here. Sid. It's you. You're the human Pathfinder. I'm Sid, Betra's sister. Betra's told me all about you. Well, not all about you, but the important bits. I should probably get back to work. It was real nice meeting you, though. Oh, you work? What work do you do here? Oh, I just monitor comms from colonists. Progress updates, hazards encountered. Note it down, pass on a report to Sean at the end of the day. Important job. I know. It's nice to hand in a report and have someone say I helped. I'll let you get back to work. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. No, no talking to anyone. No talking. No talking. Security footage, okay. I've already looked at this. I think I've already looked at that. Ooh, container. Let's loot it. Oh, that looks like a new sniper rifle. Gold sniper rifle. Hey. Oh, uh, dear. Maybe I shouldn't be spending all my research on getting new sniper rifles when I'm just finding them all over the place. Right there. down to EOS. Did you find anything to help my case? Uh, you lied to me. I can't... I don't think... No, he didn't lie to me. I don't think he did. Well, maybe he did, but I can't remember. Yes and no. An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's omni-tool recorded you over the body. Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. I might have something to, I might have something to say. Like, that's not helpful. Because I might have something to say. What does that mean? Am I going to speak up for him or speak against him? That, that's the problem with this kind of... You need to have, like, the... More options, not just... So, oh, we've got a pretty picture that tells you how you're feeling. No, just tell me what I'm going to say. Like, like, I'll speak up. I'll, sp I'll speak against you. I'll speak for you. Oh, and that's for Tantazide. So There's three options there. But no, you want to kind of make everything binary. Life isn't binary! Everything's nuanced. Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. You're innocent of murder, but not of attempted murder. 